Hi folks, in this video we're going to be talking about Doctal. Doctal is a command line client for DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean being the hosting provider who provides you with a dedicated server environment. So no shared hosting here. Every website, every application that I personally develop, I use a separate droplet as they call it or a VPS or server within DigitalOcean to create um, that server for that client or that project. So with each of those droplets, with each of those servers, it can become kind of convoluted within DigitalOcean, kind of co time consuming within DigitalOcean to have to manage your, your droplets, the creation, the, the SSHing into the droplet from terminal. Um, all of that stuff can get a little uh, kind of cumbersome when you have to log into DigitalOcean, grab the IP address, jump over to your terminal window, then SSH into the IP address. I much more prefer something like Doctal, which is going to allow me just to simply run a command like Doctal SSH and then the droplet name to actually get directly into that droplet. So uh, over the course of time, if you're dealing with a lot of different servers, if you're building out your server uh, or hosting kind of package or services for your clients on DigitalOcean, this will save you time in the long run. It's very simple to set up, very easy to use. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So on this page here, you can go through, you can uh, you know follow all these steps here, but honestly, I much more prefer just jumping over to the GitHub uh, documentation here and simply running this command. If you're on uh, Mac, which I am, I simply just ran brew install doctal. It ran through that command pretty easily for me. Let's see if it's gonna say if it's already installed or not. But uh, just so you know, when I did run this initially, uh, I ran into a couple issues where it was saying basically that my permissions to a certain folder uh, weren't accessible. So if you get that warning, uh, you should simply just be able to set it to the who am I command. Let's see if I can get to that, I can't. So uh, if you run into that, let me know and I'll show you quickly within the comments how you can resolve that issue. But once you have uh, brew install doctal uh, set up, all you have to then do is jump down here uh, pass a lot of these alternative installation options and go right to the generate new token page here It's kind of a hidden link and this is going to take you directly to your DigitalOcean page If you don't already have a DigitalOcean account, I have a $10 off your first DigitalOcean droplet uh, Coupon code within the description So feel free to click on that link and set up a DigitalOcean account there and when you do so you will be logged in. Once you're logged in, click the Generate New Token button here. Simply name it uh, Doctal or whatever name that you uh, feel you know is suitable for that. I chose Doctal. I entered that. It's going to give you that token. You're only going to see that token once, so copy that to your clipboard. Close that out and then jump back to that uh, GitHub page here and then simply run this command Doctal Auth Init. Doctal Auth Init. When you do, it's going to ask you for that token. Paste that token in. You can see here it's going to say uh, invalid token, but once you actually have your token pasted in there, that's pretty much it. You now have access to your DigitalOcean um, API directly in your DigitalOcean account via Doctal. So one quick example of what I want to show you here is I'm actually going to jump back to this page here, which has a number of commands that you can utilize. So let's scroll. Let's just scroll down here, and you can see a full listing of these within the API uh, for DigitalOcean altogether, but I simply just want to SSH into my applet. So let's see the fastest way to get there was apparently not doing this. Did I click something? I did. I went to the cloud firewalls. So I think I just want loading uh, working domains, working with SSH keys. So get SSH key. No, we don't want that either. I simply want the there's so many of these commands. I simply want to SSH into my droplet. Uh, SSH, let's do SSH droplet. I, there we go. Okay, so this is all I usually use something like Doctal uh, for. I used to use uh, Tugboat. If you are using Tugboat, uh, even on Tugboat's um, GitHub page, they're recommending that if you want the bleeding edge, uh, of the most you know current commands, then you probably want to use Doctal. So um, I used to use Tugboat. I'm switching over now to Doctal, which is going to give me a lot of additional uh, commands that I can run here. I simply want to grab that. And now if I want to SSH into my droplet, instead of me having to go log into my uh, account here, find my IP address, copy that out, jump over here, and then do an SSH at, you know, root at, and then whatever the IP address is. Instead, I want to simply use Doctal. Doctal compute SSH, and then let's just enter test the droplet name. And there we go, folks. Just like that, I've been SSH'd into my droplet. So 
As I mentioned, there's a ton of other uh, commands that you can run. You can run the creation command, you can run halt commands, you can run restart commands, all from your terminal window here. It's much easier, in my opinion, when you're dealing with multiple droplets, multiple servers, uh, to simply use terminal, iterm in my case, and uh, run these simple doctal commands. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can quickly get set up uh, within Doctal, just by uh, you know, firstly, firstly having Homebrew installed, and then using Homebrew, installing Doctal, uh, creating a token again within DigitalOcean, uh, running this Doctal auth init command, and then once you have that set up, you should be good to go. Um, the only other thing that I do want to mention, actually, before I forget, is that when you are creating your uh, droplets, obviously you want to make sure that you're adding your SSH key um, to each of those droplets as you go. So again, let's just do that once over here create droplet you got your shark spinning around here and we're just going to create a five dollar droplet and towards the bottom here i named my droplet test but i picked my public ssh key as you can see here i have a number of them one of them called the right one i select that i created my droplet and that's what's going to um you know get me right in Another uh, aside, when you do go to first login, it's gonna ask you if you uh, want to grant SSH access um, to this droplet, you just have to simply type yes and hit enter and then you will be able to get in without being prompted for that in the future. So hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions for, for us or for me, uh, please feel free to leave some comments within the comment section below. Thanks so much.